beyond the CRV means compact recreation vehicle, then what does the BRV really mean? Actually, ang ibig sabihin yan is bold runabout vehicle. And that's why this vehicle is one of the most leading compact crossover SUVs in the market today because simply it sits up to seven people and it has SUV styling. But one of the most common asked questions on Google right now actually is, is the Honda BRV an MPV or an SUV? Ano ba talaga? Actually, pag si Lerch po yun talaga ilalabas, ano ba talaga? And the answer is simple. It's a crossover SUV with MPV comfort with premium SUV styling. My name is Ref Bangsil for Ref Motors and this and that is the 2023 Honda BRV. And I'm here today to tell you guys why this is your next vehicle. Na miss ko kayo guys, we're back. So today, we're going to be talking about three cars. This right here is the 2023 Honda BRV. This one is the S model. This one here is the first generation Honda BRV. And that one on the very right is the V model. This one is the higher variant. They're both CVT transmissions. Now, as for the color, this is what they call the lunar silver. And the one on the right is called the meteoroid space gray. Now for the front, you're going to notice that the 2023 model is a little bit sportier in my opinion. It has a bigger grille as compared to the previous model. The new one also has LED headlamps or headlights and LED fog lamps as well. DRLs na rin yung all-new model natin. I think the newer one resembles more of the new Civics. May pagka-sporty na dating. And I personally think it's because of the chrome. There's a little bit too much chrome on the older one. Which makes it a little less cooler in a sense as compared to this new one. Actually, honestly, mukha nga siyang HRV sa, sa tingin ko. Like the old model HRV. And I just love how it seems like it's kind of like a wider type of front and it's really a little bit more aggressive than the old one. Now, as for ground clearance, the newer model is actually higher than the old one, which means, you know, safer to use in the flood, safer to use off-road if you wish, if that's what you're going for. Overall, mas pogi siya in my opinion. Now, for the rear of the BRV, you guys can see that it's obviously taller, it's obviously wider, and it's just a tougher form as compared to the previous model. This one actually holds more space. So, tingnan natin yung trunk space niya ngayon. I mean, I think it's very obvious from the camera the amount of cabin space it can give. I mean, this one, marami na rin, especially if you put down the, the last two seats. Pero ito, even if you don't do that, there's a considerable amount that you can put here. Pero if you were to put like a maleta, siguro isa lang yung magkakasya and it might be a little bit difficult. But if you put down the previous seats, then hindi naman magkakaproblema dun. And it's very easy to put them down. With something like that lang, kaya mo nang may na mga ilang-ilang maleta. Siguro two, three, you can stack up maybe about four here and then one on the very top. Actually, parang nga siyang hawig dun sa CRV eh. More so than the previous generation. Now in the back, we also have the third brake light, we have the rear wiper, and of course, we have reverse cameras to guide you. I'll show you guys how it looks from the inside, pero I was actually using it to back up the speed brake test area dun, and I was able to back up the whole way. It was maybe a whole kilometer and a half na hindi na ako tumitin sa likod. I was just basing it off the reverse camera. On the side, obviously larger and wider in diameter, higher than the previous model. We have here over fenders and body cladding, which actually looks pretty well for the vehicle. Meron din naman sa old model nun. As for the tire setup, these are alloy wheels. These are actually 17s. 215 55 R17s. These are Bridgestone tires. For the design, they don't look too different from the older one. I think they're very fitting. Actually, a lot of wheels these days, ganito na talaga yung design nila, eh. two-tone to black. Actually, yung Type R nga is a similar design except that one had like a red racing stripe around it. We also have a roof rail type of design here, but unlike the previous model, which we'll show you in a little bit, that one is actually a little bit functional because at least you can wrap ropes around it and put maybe a surfboard or whatever you'd want kung kukulahan ka man ng space sa loob. This one, I'm not really sure unless you can take this cladding out. Now, the V model has a smart entry system where if you have your keys, lapit ka lang ng onte and it will automatically lock or unlock. You can access it via a button right here. For the side mirrors, these are actually auto-folding and you can control them from the driver's seat. Now, on the front, we have the body cladding. It's very continuous and tuloy, -tuloy siya. It's very consistent with the overall design of the car. In the back of the BRV, it's very spacious, very SUV yung feeling niya. Actually, my height is 5'10", so imagine I can cross my legs, I can do this. I can actually really be comfortable here if I wanted to. I can sleep, kunyari, like long road trip siya, kaya matulog. So, I want to say that the, the second row cabin of the BRV is very spacious. Ang dami mong pwedeng gawin. There's a power outlet here. There is a center armrest here. It's pretty much complete in features. 
There are AC controls and AC blowers on the second area as well para malamigan kayo dito in sa likod. This is actually the first time I've ever I've ever ridden this new BRV and it's very comfortable. I'm actually very very impressed. I didn't think na it will be this comfortable but it really is. Like look at that. If I wanted to, like, I can, I can really just, like, you know, I can really, really just relax. We saw a lot of people going to Baguio or La Union or even Tagaytay in this BRV. So, they're really full of it. And they're not going to be the BRV. The power output is pretty much good. Spacing is pretty much good. Although, of course, I don't know if I'll be comfy in the very back. Actually, I'll show you guys right now. That's what's important. Usually, even with SUVs, ang nagkakasya lang sa likod na comfortably are mga kids o kaya teenagers but let's see if a full grown adult will fit so it's very easy to access the third row seating all you have to do is make this mechanism work like that on the very back you simply pull this leash o kaya mechanism that allows you to open the rear seats then simply come in lang like so Okay, so we're gonna sit down in the third row of the BRV so let's say meron tayong maybe yung parents ko let's say dito sila nakaw po Will I be comfy enough? Someone who's 5'10", full-grown adult. I mean, kasha ka naman kung pipilitin mo, pero I don't want to say it's comfy enough for you to actually be here. Siguro, save this space for children or kaya teenagers or kaya people who are maybe 5'6", mga ganyan. They would probably be a little bit more comfortable here kasi you can see naman na I really don't have a lot of knee space, but kung kikailanganin man, at least pwede akong makasama sa kanila. So guys, right now, we're driving the BRV for the very first time. Actually, kanina, I was able to kind of get a feel for it. You know, pinapakiramdaman ko siya sitting in the passenger seat. And I gotta say, it's one of the most easiest cars to drive, actually. Uh, I have a couple of friends na asked me before, like, ano pong magandang car ref? And ang mga sinadjust ko sa kanila na kotse was cars like the BRV. Because of the fact that, yun nga, ang laki ng space. Madaling it drive. Most importantly, it's very affordable. It's really an all-in-one vehicle. I would say the feeling of driving this is kind of like parang parang medyo go kart ish. You have electric power steering. It's very easy to shift. You still have your classic handbrake lever here, which I personally prefer over those advanced ones because parang it just takes out the feeling na oh, like nakaparada ka na talaga yung mga ganong feeling. This one also has a dual aircon setup. It's very beautiful. Aside from that, meron din tayong steering wheel controls. And it's very snug, very fit. Uh, the, the steering wheel is actually quite comfortable. And yeah, it's, an, it's a very easy car to drive. It's very cut and dry, actually. I think this is a 7-inch uh, head unit here. Uh, sorry guys, wala pa kasi yung spec sheet sa amin, but from what I see, it seems like a 7 or 8 inch. And what I like about this is that it has everything you need. I think this one has Apple CarPlay, which is one of the most important things that you should ever have in a vehicle right now. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Again, it's very easy, very cut and dry. Air conditioning is absolutely amazing. Meron kang aircon dito sa harap, meron kang aircon dun sa gitna. It should be able to really cool down everyone in the car, especially ngayon, napaka-init pa, di ba? about to do the brake test. Um, one of the things that Honda is really proud of is the braking point or the braking system of these Hondas and especially in this BRB. So we're gonna try it right now. We have to get up to a speed of 50. So right now guys, we're about to do an incline test here. So kunyari, like guys, the scenario is that sa Baguio ka, Tagaytay ka, full load kayo, Kaya ba ng ng BRV yan? And guys, look, very easy. I'm on my as a driving gear tayo. Very easy. Walang kahirap hirap. Now, as we go down, as usual, the worries here is the side bed or anything. But guys, remember the front or lower ground clearance of the BRV is lifted, so kahit straight yan, I don't have to turn or anything. It's actually really good. Easy, guys. Easy. Now guys, the other question is, alam natin malubak sa Pilipinas, can the BRV handle it? And guys, easy. Easy. I'm not even holding the steering wheel right now. It's very comfy. It's, it's actually pretty smooth. 
So I wouldn't say it's a problem guys kung may, may mga subdivision dyan na medyo malubak or anything. Hindi ka magkaka problema. Now in this area guys, this is the rough road just in case mapunta kayo sa malubak na area. Can the BRV handle it? Guys, very easy. Walang kahirap-hirap. The suspension is coming into play and hindi siya malabak guys. Even the camera work is pretty, pretty stable. <laughs> it's very easy with no issues guys. So this is the area where may mga lubak-lubak ko kaya simulating potholes guys and it's it's, it's okay. It's doing pretty well. The BRB is doing pretty well guys. My home and easy. <laughs> So as we end this video, there's one thing to note and I know that we've been having audio problems throughout this whole shoot and we once again had it later on in this outro part but basically what I was saying here is that the BRV actually has a lot to offer with the features it has and most importantly at the price point which is alam ko yung gusto malaman lahat but yes just to give you guys an idea the suggested retail price is around 1 million around that range for the base variant and for the top variant it's about it's nearing around 1.4 million. I'll put the prices here. I'll flash it on the screen so you guys can see it. But personally for me, I think the BRV has the potential to be the leading MPV in the market. And I'm sure we'll see a lot of these on the streets very soon. This has been Ref Bangsil for Ref Motors. I just want to say I missed you guys very much. If you guys have any cars that you would like review, just please let me know in the comments below. And we'll get to it very soon. Merry Christmas, guys. Make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life The simple times and the errors